Hey, I got here as soon as I could. I hope you weren't waiting long. We just had our Class A motorhome aligned and we already had a Safety T Plus installed that I did about a year ago. The Safety T Plus, in my opinion, is one of the most recommended upgrades that I give my friends and people that I hang out with. It's, it just gives great road stability. It's some, some protection when you, if you ever had a blowout. It's an easy install. It's about an hour, hour and a half. I'm going to cover in this video the alignment that we got and a great quick tip on how to adjust that safety T plus to make that motorhome go straight down the road. Coming up on RV Street. So a little background on this video before we get into the details. A while back ago, I had two new Michelin tires put on the steers. And when I had those new Michelins put on, I'm not a big believer in powders and beads and all that stuff for balancing tires. So I went ahead and also bought the Centromatic balancing rings. So I had the tire, I bought the tires, I had them road force balanced, those tires, put on the Centromatic rings and the new tires. Once I had those on, I came back to the house and I installed the Safety T Plus myself. I am a firm believer in the Safety T Plus and it's a very easy accessory to install. You have that one bracket, and that one bolt on the left right there underneath the driver's side and then you have the bracket and the two U-bolts on the passenger side. Some quick facts about the Safety T Plus. There are three different models. There's the 41230, which is the blue one. That's the one we installed. That's for coaches that are 35 feet and above. Then there's the 41180, the white one. That's for 31 to 34 feet. And then they have the 41140, that's the red one. And that's for 29 feet or less. We installed, like I said, the blue one, the 41230, on our 35 foot 2012 Winnebago Vista 35F. It's an F53 chassis. The reason I like these Safety T Pluses is it not only gives you a much more stable and controllable driving down the road, dealing with strong winds or 18 wheelers going by or what have you, especially in the smaller Class A's or Class C's, but it also provides a great amount of safety. If you ever had a blowout, that tremendous force that that steering wheel is gonna be yanked to one side or the other, that Safety T Plus is gonna allow you to gain control a whole lot easier and recover and get to safety to the side of the road a whole lot better than if you did not have it. When I installed our Safety T Plus, I was in Houston at the time, I found a nice straight level piece of highway and I had watched all the videos online on how to see which way it's pulling, pull the coach over, loosen the nuts on the U-bolts, bump it over, tighten them back up, retry again, blah, 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 blah. I did that five times over three hours and finally got it. It was a glorious moment when I got that thing zeroed in. So when I had these new Michelins and Centromatic balancing rings installed, I really didn't want to just throw money in an alignment uh, because I didn't even know if I needed one. The, hand, the coach really handled well as it was. So I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and put on these tires and rings get some miles on them and let the tires talk to me. Let them provide some data and I can see the wear and then I'll know whether I needed an alignment or, or not. So after 3,300 miles, we were in a campground in Florida and like normal, I got on my creeper. I do that every couple, three weeks. I crawl up underneath her and I roll around under the chassis looking for things, making sure everything's good. And I noticed on my front tires, this is what I saw. In this side-by-side -side comparison, both front tires were wearing on the outside edges. The passenger tire on the left was wearing a little more than the driver's side. But otherwise, both tires were wearing pretty evenly in the center 
and on the inside. I knew an alignment was in order, so I made an appointment and went two days later. The shop that I took it to, which I'll put down in the description, the guy there was awesome. <laughs> he had been working on F53 chassis for 24, 25 years. And after watching him, he could have done this blindfolded. But he had a partner that he worked with. They had like a little team there. He set up the cameras, the lasers, and his computer. He took some measurements, dialed that thing in, and came. He let me stand there and watch the whole thing. And he said, Martin, he says, your uh, toe is out and the caster is out. I'm going to have to do both. I said, okay. Well, in order to do the toe, he had to loosen and totally disassemble the uh, not totally disassembled, but he had to loosen the safety T plus to adjust the toe, which means all that previous adjustment that I had done now is totally gone. So he made the toe adjustment and he put in a real thick shim on the right side for the caster. It was about quarter, maybe five sixteenths thick. Dropped it down, tightened it up and said, let's go. We pulled out of the bay, got out of the driveway and down the road. And it was pulling to the right some. Not a problem, he said. He turned around, we came back into the bay and he had motioned to his helper and said, he made a little hand signal. They had worked so many years, they knew how to talk just by hand signals. His helper got up underneath there and tapped it just like this. Okay, so for a very easy way to adjust the safety T plus is that these U bolts and bracket are very tight. You've taken it for a drive and let's assume in my case it was pulling to the right. Well, that means that the safety T plus has to go to the left towards the driver's side. This is the passenger side. So since it was slightly pulling to the right, this has to go to the left. So what you do is you take a hammer and you hit the bracket down here first. We're not talking about a mighty swing, but a pretty enough to where it'll move this bracket a little bit. But that's going to put these U-bolts in slightly a little bind. And once you've hit this and moved this a 16th to a 32nd of an inch, somewhere in that area, small, very small adjustments. Then you come back up and you tap this and tap that U-bolt and get those back in aligned. Go back and take another drive test. If it needs to be moved a little bit, if it's still drifting to the right a little bit, then go ahead and come in here and tap this again and then tap your U-bolts to where they are aligned again. You never loosen these, and that is a very easy way. We got ours aligned in two attempts, and that thing goes down the road just perfect. And after that helper made that adjustment, we pulled back out of the bay, went out the driveway, and down the street again. And it was almost perfect, but it was still pulling a little bit to the right. He wasn't happy. We turned around, went back in there, pulled over the pit, and he motioned there with a hand signal. And they're just bumping this like maybe a 16th or a 32nd at a time. It's very, very small adjustments, but they are not loosening those nuts on those U-bolts. Those are tight, and they're just kind of walking and inching it over little by little with a hammer or possibly a hammer and a like a brass bar or something else. But he just used his hammer. After that second adjustment, we backed out of the bay, went down the road, perfect. And since that second adjustment got that thing perfect, I was just shocked. I was like, man, this is awesome. I wish I would have known this trick when I installed these. He said, well, Martin, let me tell you, when you did this, there were three things working against you. And I said, what's that? He said, well, number one, when you were in Houston and going, you said that you, were, you found a level, straight piece of highway. He said, that was the first mistake. He says, because let me ask you, he says, when you and your wife are driving and traveling around the country, what lane are you in most of the time, 90% of the time? I said, the right-hand lane. He said, that's right. And the right-hand lane always, almost always, leans to the right or has a crown to the right. 
And so when you adjust the safety T plus, you want to compensate for that. You want to adjust it to where it'll keep you going straight down the road under normal driving conditions. Normal con driving conditions for you is in the right hand lane where it slopes off to the right. And I'm like, well, that certainly makes a whole lot of sense. So that's how they adjusted it in the right hand lane with a slight crown to it. He said the second thing that was working against you is that every time you went and made an adjustment, you crawled underneath, you loosened those four bolts, those four nuts on the U bolts, bumped it over, tightened them back up, and that was loosening some of the tension on the spring and the coil. He says, you want that thing to stay tight. You want to bump the coil and those brackets over without loosening those so that spring tension stays the same. You don't want that to move at all because we're making very, very small adjustments. And the third thing he said is that when you were in Houston, he says, you kept adjusting that. It you said it took five times to adjust that. He said, what was happening was, is you were not in alignment then. Your front end was not aligned. So every time you were adjusting that to get you to go straight, you were actually trying to adjust it to compensate for misalignment. So you don't want, you want to make sure that your front end is, and I told him, I said, well, that's why I wanted to, I didn't really know if I needed alignment. That's why I'm inspecting these tires now. And he said, well, that's fine. He said, you did okay. He said, but that's what was happening there. So in conclusion, three things. One, watch for tire wear that's uneven. Number two, get an alignment if you need one. Three, you install a safety T plus. It'll give you more control on the road for headwinds and 18 wheelers and all that. And it'll provide you a whole lot more stability and, and ability to recover in the event of a catastrophic blowout situation. So there you have it, a class A front end alignment and safety T plus adjustment quick tip. This is RV Street, stick around.